Some people this past weekend jumped to big conclusions after seeing viral video of teenagers wearing Make America Great Again hats surrounding a Native American. Turns out the situation that unfolded on Friday in D.C. was far more complicated. Here's Jim Axelrod. The first angle of what unfolded on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial showed a Native American elder, Nathan Phillips, drumming, and Nick Sandman, a high school junior from Covington Catholic High School in Kentucky, inches away, while Sandman's schoolmates chanted. It seemed Phillips was being treated disrespectfully. But within hours, more videos surfaced. What the hell is you see a crackers with Make America Great hat on? The kids from Kentucky had been taunted by a small group of African-American provocateurs known as the Black Hebrew Israelites. This is a bunch of future The Covington kids shouted over them Get this crack. with what they say were school cheers, dozens jumping up and down. Which is when Phillips walked toward the group of students beating his drum, he says, to calm a combustible situation. What did you do when America was tearing itself apart? Did you turn your head, did you walk away? Or did you go in there, into the midst of it, and say, this is wrong? And that's what I did. While Phillips said he heard the kids taunt him, and the diocese and school initially condemned the students, the other videos told a more complex story. According to supporters of the kids. All they're doing is waiting to get on a bus, and they're being yelled at by grown men. Why are they the bad guys? Ever since, social media has raged. The boys, Nathan Phillips, and the media all taking it on the chin, depending on who was posting, and demonstrating how we now process events in real time. Maybe the most striking and ironic thing is that all this unfolded steps from the words of Lincoln etched into the memorial. Let us strive on to finish the work we are in, to bind up the nation's wounds. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.